So, the solution then to part A. First of all, we've got to draw for part 1, that is, we've got to draw the graph of y equals x squared bracket x minus 2. So what I'm going to need is a set of axes, so we'll draw those on, that's the y-axis, and then we have the x-axis. And I'm going to then draw the graph of y equals x squared x minus 2. Now, when I'm given a sketch graph, what I would want to do is find out where it crosses the x-axis. And this is when y equals 0. So when y equals 0, I would have 0 equals x squared bracket x minus 2. And from this, we can see that either one of these factors would have to equal 0. So Therefore, x would equal 0, that's the x squared, x squared would equal 0, or x minus 2 would equal 0, which would lead to x equaling 2. Now, because we've got x times x here in the x squared, then we have got x could equal 0 or 0 again, and we call this a repeated root. And it's very important that you remember that when you've got a graph that has got a repeated root, it means that the graph will not cross the x-axis, but it will actually touch it. So therefore, we can expect the graph not to cross at x equals 0, but just to touch the x-axis at x equals 0. Also, though, we know that the graph will now cross the x-axis when x is 2. So we'll imagine then that 2 is, say, this point here. Now, as for the shape of the graph, when I look into this bracket and expand it, I can see that I get y equals x cubed minus 2x. Now, x cubed is a plus x cubed term. And when we have a plus x cubed graph, we expect the general shape to come up through here like this. Be something like this kind of shape. Negative x cubed, by the way, come downwards and go like that kind of thing. I'll do it again. Downwards, up and down. So this is a positive x cubed, so I know that this is going to be of this kind of shape. And remember, it's going to touch the x-axis at x equals 0. So therefore, we've got a graph that's going to look something like this. Round there, down, and up through. OK? So, there we have it, and hopefully you can follow that. OK, we now go on to the second graph, which we've got to draw on top of the same axis. So we'll look at uh, the second part of this question. And in this one, we'll draw the graph now, I think, in green. So we've got y equals x times 6 minus x. And similarly, I'd want to do much the same kind of thing again, find out where it crosses the x-axis. So I would say when y equals 0, we find that x times all of 6 minus x, that equals 0. And if this is to equal 0, then each of the two factors would have to equal 0. So that would lead to, therefore, x, the first factor, would equal 0 or the second factor, 6 minus x, would equal 0, which would mean that x would have to equal 6. OK, so now we've got this. This is where it crosses the x-axis. We've got no repeated factors here, so we know it's not going to touch. x equals 0, this point over here, so I don't need to mark that one on again. x equals 6. Well, this point here was the point 2. In fact, I should really write that in. The question does ask me to write the coordinates in, so I'll write that one in now. This particular point is 0-2. Now, it's only a sketch, so it doesn't have to be absolutely in proportion. I'm running out of room here a bit, but what, I've got to, what I'm going to do is put uh, the point where x is 6 on there. 
Okay, so I know the graph then has to go through 0, 2 and 6, 0. Okay, I'll mark that there. Now this particular graph, when we multiply it out, we get 6x minus x squared. Minus x squared graphs are parabolas. And this parabola, when you've got a minus x squared graph, is kind of that shape. When it's plus x squared, it's a U shape. So we know we've got an N shape type graph here. OK, so I'm going to sketch that graph in. And so we'll do it in green. OK, so the graph is going to be something like this kind of shape. OK, so let's just see if we can sketch that in then. So coming up through here, it looks like it's going to cross, by the way, this red graph somewhere down here. Let's have a look. So we just go up through there, through that one, over the top, and down through here. OK, so looking something like that. OK, so we've drawn the graphs. We've indicated, as it says, all the points where the graphs cross the x-axis. I suppose we haven't marked that one in, so let's just uh, put that one in at the origin. Not much room here, but we'll just put naught there. OK, at the origin.